Salutations, beings of the fifth dimension. I am your local degenerate, Danny Boy. I recently came across this video made by Critical about this movie called Cats. I'm not going to pretend I know anything about it, nor could I be asked to figure it out, because honestly, even though I'm into some furry stuff, the designs on these characters make me want to take a cold shower while holding a large bottle of rum in my hand curled up into a ball on the floor. But here's the thing. That judgment was made before I even had the name of the movie. I just saw the thumbnail and thought, fuck no. And apparently I'm not the only one. Thanks to this abomination's existence, even male fans of whatever malformed corner of hell this came from went absolutely limp-dicked looking at this, and the female fans went drier than the Sahara Desert. Like, it doesn't even look like a professionally made film. It looks like a CGI student just got a computer and had zero in the budget. Now, let's take this train leading into oncoming traffic together, and let's watch together and bond among the flames of this disaster. Are you interested yet, furries? And here we see what I'm assuming is the protagonist who is naked because everyone knows when you want to appeal to furries that the best way, the best way, is to design them without clothes, clearly. Also, I've uh, literally shot out better looking stuff. One night came really shitty CGI of naked anthro animals that even furries couldn't beat it to. That is probably the goofiest clip I've ever seen, and I've seen the room. Look at her face, even she wants out of this fucking nightmare. One chance to get out of the theater early, enough to get a refund for a cinematic experience even popcorn couldn't make pleasant. Introducing terrible joke in the background that a four-year-old wrote on the walls with his feces. I haven't seen you before, have I? I wish I hadn't seen you. Now I'm gonna get nightmares for the rest of my life. Open up and turn. When one shitty CGI character doesn't work, the next logical step is clearly to fill the screen with them, giving little Timmy nightmares for the rest of his life. Poor little Timmy. Had a shitty enough life having his parents lock him in the basement all his life, only, and the only moment he ever came out was to see this movie. Can we get an F in the comments for little Timmy? Can I have some food now? Get the fuck back in the basement, Timmy. Okay. I don't think these creatures want any new life. I think they'd rather get the three-legged horse treatment. And here we have Top Cat after doing copious amounts of meth and painting his fur after his prime. Damn, Top Hat, you went downhill. Wait, was that supposed to be funny? And here we have a very horny furry singing about how horny she is. Well, that one's a fucking asshole. Well, when that one lands, it's likely gonna leave a crater big enough to wipe out the entire town, so that makes me happy. Are you going to try for a different life? Honestly, I'd rather just end it. That'd be better than looking at you. A new day has begun. And now we have a bunch of confused furries doing the Nazi salute. Yeah, I definitely believe. I believe I'm going to pass on this movie. I kind of wonder who looked at this and went, Yeah, that looks good. Was that the person who greenlit the Sonic design for the Sonic movie? Anyway. Hope you guys like this video. Let me know if you want to see more videos similar to this one. See ya.